Hi, this is Anne with Finance on the Offense, and today I'm going to explain what has happened, or is still happening, with GameStop stock price. So let's get started. So what is GameStop? GameStop is a retail US-based store that sells used video games and new video games. And a bunch of large investors, like hedge funds, thought that GameStop could not survive the pandemic, um, Amazon competition, the fact that games are downloadable now and you don't need a hard copy anymore, and a few other factors, so they shorted the stock. And we'll get to what that means in just a moment. Now this same thing is happening with AMC stock, Nokia, and Blackberry, and so this explanation is going to apply to all of those. Now another name you might have seen in the news recently is Wall Street Bets. Wall Street Bets is part of Reddit.com, and Reddit.com is just a bunch of forums where people come and talk about what they like. Wall Street Bets is one of those forums, and people get on there and talk to each other about what stocks to buy and what not to buy and that kind of thing. Now I'm gonna give you a rundown on what's currently happening with the GameStop stock and why it's happened, and then I'll explain everything in more detail. Over on reddit.com in the Wall Street Bets forum, they noticed that GameStop had a greater than 100% short position on their stock. That means that big investors like hedge funds borrowed more stock than actually exists and they're betting that the stock price is going to go down and they have a time frame to pay back the stock that they borrowed. The people over at Wall Street Bets noticed this and they started buying up all the shares of game stock that they could find and when they did this it drove the price way way up it's kind of like supply and demand so the supply of shares got lower so the demand went up including the price and now those large investors who borrowed this have to buy that stock back at the higher price in order to get it back to their lender and i realize this is all very confusing so i'm going to break it down with a few examples so what's a short most of us, when we buy stocks, we buy them and then we hope the price goes up and then we sell them and we make that amount of money. When you short a stock, you're actually borrowing the stock and then selling it. You have to buy it back in a certain time frame, and if you buy it at a lower price and give it back to your lender, you've made money. So let's say the stock is priced at $100. I borrow one share of the stock from a lender and sell it for $100. Now, there is a time frame when I have to give my one share back to the lender. So the price falls to $50 before that time frame. I buy it at $50 and give it to my lender. So I've made $50. So what's happening to the large investors, the ones who shorted the stock? Here's an example. Let's say you borrow some bananas from your banana lender and you sell them to someone just before banana season. This is when demand is really high, so you get a good price. So let's say $10. You plan to replace those bananas to the banana lender mid-season when there are tons of bananas available and they're really cheap. So you've been waiting for the cheapest price and now your deadline date to rebuy the bananas is coming up. So you need to go buy some. But a million Reddit users decided to buy all the bananas they could find and they're willing to sell to you. So yay for that. The problem is they want to sell the bananas at $1,000. So you might be wondering, how could companies borrow more shares than actually exist? So let's look at another example for that. Let's say Jenny has 10 bananas. Mark borrows Jenny's 10 bananas and sells them, but he has to return her 10 bananas within a time frame. Mark has a 10 banana debt right now. He has some money from a sale, but he has to buy them back at some point so he can give those bananas to Jenny. Now Rachel is the one who bought the 10 bananas from Mark. And now, Michael is going to borrow those from Rachel, and he sells them to Eric. So both Michael and Mark owe and have to pay back 10 bananas each, even though only 10 bananas actually exist. So now the short percentage, which is 20 bananas, is higher than the actual number of bananas, which is 10. That's what's happened to GameStop stock. The same number of shares has been borrowed and borrowed and borrowed multiple times. So what's in it for the Wall Street Bets people? Why are they doing this? The Wall Street Bets people decided to all buy the stock at the same time. And when that happens, the stock price is going to go up. 
They're working together to increase the price of the stock, which is a bad thing for all the investors who shorted the stock because they wanted the price to go down. The small investors, the Wall Street bets people, aren't shorting the stock, they're buying it. So if the price goes up, they make money. Of course, they actually only make money once they sell the stock and they have to sell it at a higher price than what they bought it for. So let's say you were one of the people who invested back in mid-January and bought GameStop stock. You bought it at around $20 a share. And let's say you personally decided to put in $5,000. So that means you would have 250 shares. On January 27th, which is yesterday for me, the stock was up to $347.51. So your $5,000 would have increased to $86,877. So you could decide to sell it then, or you could hang on to see if it would go higher. On Wall Street Bets, there's a lot of pressure not to sell your GameStop stock because if everybody sells at the same time, the price of GameStop is going to drop but the only way to actually make money is to sell the stock. Now, some people on Wall Street Bets think that the price of the stock will go to $1,000 or higher. And if that happens, your $5,000 investment would become $250,000. So we'll wait and see what happens. Now the large investors who borrowed the stock and sold it are being forced to buy the stock at a much higher price to be able to pay it back to the lender. So they're not happy. For Reddit Wall Street Bets investors who bought at the right time and possibly who sell at the right time, this is a win-win situation because they've made a lot of money themselves personally and also the big guy loses and the small guy wins and they love a story like that on Reddit. So while this is a good thing for small investors and a bad thing for large investors who shorted the stock, this is actually probably a bad thing for the stock market overall because it increases the volatility and it makes the normal investor kind of wary so it causes them to lose trust. And that is why GameStop is trading so high right now. It's a false stock manipulation that is going to come crashing down, but we don't know when. All right, if you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. I'll see you next week with another personal finance video. Thank you.